Memories cut through me, hypnotized by the sounds I'm breathing in. Hold tight, hold tight, chemicals collide. Hold tight, hold tight, hold tight. Hey guys, what's up? We are going to zip lining now at Coral Crater. That's what we're about to do. We're about to suit up and go zip lining. I haven't been zip lining as an adult yet. Yeah. Huh? What did you go to the biting wall? No, yeah. Vegas. No, that's not the same thing. Over We're ready three to months. go. It's time to happen. Let's go. What? Just Stand behind him. Okay. Are you excited? This is her idea, so. <laughs> we did this in. We, Dad and I did this in California, I think. I thought you guys did it in Jamaica. No, we did ATVs in Jamaica. Oh. It was much, much higher, much, much higher in California. We were like way up in the redwood trees. Like we're talking many, many miles up. All right, guys. Hello, welcome to Pro Creator. My name is Chad. This is Liz. We'll be your two guides for the tour. Okay. Being gross. All right. You're all harnessed up. What are you gonna do? Ready to go. Let's do it. What's that called? Shaka Shaka. Where'd it come from? From that old guy. What happened to him? Right, guys, he missed his little finger. Alright Daniel, so you can hold on to all these traps if you'd like. All you're going to do is sit down, lift your feet up. Jump! Go! Yeah. All right, Lisa, get your feet ready to land. Perfect. I mean, it definitely takes a lot of trust in the strap. <laughs> How were your first two? Okay. He's climbing down. We're about to go on this big boy. Look at him go. You lost. Wait a minute. Hi guys, so today is our last day in Hawaii. We are just now packing up the Airbnb. I didn't have a chance to show you guys the Airbnb, so let me show you guys this little cute 
cute house. So you walk in, you got like a little nice seating area. They did have like Netflix and like internet and stuff, which was really cool. And then you walk in, and this is mine and Dan's room. Pretty cute. So yeah, it's a very cute little room, and then the other room looks pretty much the same exact way. And then there is a bathroom down there. There's my mom and dad's room. And then this is like the dining room and the little kitchen. They have a big fridge and a big pantry. And yeah, so that was where we stayed for the 10 days. The windows here are really weird. They like, <clears throat> are like, you pull them down and they're like open, see, like that. Nope. It's crazy, and there's no air conditioning in this house. But we stayed in Eva. We stayed in Eva Beach, so not like the nicest area, but we do have like our own beach. As you guys saw, I'm pretty sure I took you guys down there and showed you guys the little beach area. But it was really cool. We had a really great time. So check out Eva Beach. This was a Airbnb like on the website from what was his name? Kyle. I think his name was Kyle. So that's who we rented from. And I think he has quite a few different Airbnbs. So this is just one of them. And let me show you like the little street. The street looks a little sketchy, but like it's actually like a little neighborhood. And they have like a band that plays at night on like Wednesdays and Thursdays because they're an actual professional band. And then let me show you. So this is like the little street. And then down there is the private beach yeah it was really cool we really enjoyed our stay here we're just packing up we have to be out of here in like about five minutes and we're gonna go we still have a few hours so 10 11 12 1 so about three hours before we have to be to the airport so i will catch you guys a little bit later Bye. we've been here for 10 days and the first pokey place that we tried was um ahi assassins it was really good where is it it's in waikiki downtown and then so we tried 10 other places, probably at least, huh? Yeah. It's our favorite. So before we're getting on the plane today, uh, we had to go back and I have um, Hawaiian sesame and then this spice that they put on it, it's uh, called furikake and it's seafood and sesame oil. Seaweed. Seaweed. <laughs> <You said> seaweed. <laughs> seaweed, sesame oil and sesame seeds and you sprinkle it on the rice and it's delicious. And then I got the spicy one because I got the Hawaiian one last time and so I've been wanting to try the one that has mayo. mayo on it. I like this one the best. So out of all of them that I've tried, I like the spicy one the best. It's not super spicy. He said it's like a seven out of 10. And spicy is not normally like my profile, like taste profile, but I do like this one a lot because like the fish is sweet and then the sauce is spicy, so it's good. Velvety. Yeah, it's like very velvety, like really good. Melted really good. It's like melted in your mouth tuna. So if you guys like poke, then definitely come to Ahi Assassins. And they were super, super nice. They kept like, here, try this. Here, try this. Here, try that. And it's a little hole in the wall, too. Yeah, it looks really sketchy when you go out there. My dad was like, what is happening? <laughs> but it was actually really, really good. Here comes your dad. What was the other place that we liked? There's my dad. Oh, no. Yeah, we liked Ono oh, Seafood. And then... Oh, what was that one on the corner in Waikiki? That one that we went to with the... We still haven't really got good. food yet. The what? Remember the market? We still haven't got oh, food. Oh, yeah. Diamond Head Market. The Diamond Head Market and Grill. food yet. Okay, Shush. Down. The Diamond Head Market and Grill doesn't have poke, but they had really good ribs. Yeah, she had Korean short ribs, and they were really, really good. And then I had the barbecue, like, baby back ribs. The, that was, like, one of the best ribs I've ever had. It was. So, definitely try out the Diamond Head Market and Grill if you're in the mood for food. Everything we've had has been really, really good. The fresh catch place is really good. The fresh catch place we had, um, my my mom and I's uh, ahi, like we had the seared ahi was a little overdone, yeah, but overdone. Dan and my dad had ahi katsu and it was really, really good. The best ahi katsu I think we've had. And then Pounders was, is right yeah, by the, the Polynesian, Polynesian Center. Center. Their service is shitty but like they have really young waiters and stuff in there so it's not good service but the food was really really good so i had the short rib like the braised short ribs 
and they have mashed potatoes with their mix with breadfruit. So it's mashed potatoes and breadfruit, oh and it's God. like really good. One of the best mashed potatoes we've ever had. We went back. It's like, for that yeah, we went back just for the mashed potatoes, and all of us ordered mashed potatoes. And then the ahi katsu was really good there too. And then their their salad, the ahi, the salad, ahi salad, I guess, was really good too. So definitely check out those places. Was there any other favorite places that we Kono. went? Oh, well, yeah, Konos. If you guys haven't gone to Konos, are you guys like, um... Pulled pork. Yeah, it's like a pulled pork. It is so freaking good. They have this burrito. And a sandwich. And, and they also have like a famous sandwich that they had there. So that's where we are too, is that Konos over there. Dan and my dad wanted Konos, so we're waiting for their food to come out. So the, what is it, what's the pork called? Kahlua pork. Yeah, Kahlua pork. So if you guys like Kahlua pork, it's really, really, really good. Yeah. I think mean, Dan's eaten there like five times now. Dan wants to get a tattoo so he can have yeah, he wants. If you get a tattoo, if you get like their little tattoo, you get 50% off for life. So if we lived here, he would totally get a tattoo so he could get 50% off. <laughs> I'd let him. It's a pig on a surfboard. It's a pig on a surfboard, but that's really funny. <laughs> but yeah, so that's pretty much what we're doing right now. I don't know. Are we going to do anything after we I don't think so. Eating? I think we're just kind of... Waiting we're kind of like moseying flight. around for our flight. We have about what time is it now? We have about two hours, I think, yeah. before our flight. Before we have to be at the airport. Yeah, before, before we have to be flight. the. Yeah, our flight's at three, and right now it's about eleven. So we had to be out of our Airbnb by ten. So yeah, we're just chilling. The Airbnb was nice. Yeah, I know I showed it to him. Oh. So. But you gotta like roosters. Yeah, that was terrible. <laughs> so in Hawaii, like we kind of did like the not touristy we kind of wanted to do like get the actual hawaiian feel for like how people like live and stuff and so we kind of stayed in like kind of a sketchy area <laughs> but it's not really sketchy it's just like worn old. you know it's, it's like old yeah but it wasn't like scary there was no creepy people no, or anything nice i didn't people. feel unsafe or anything but it's just like an older area i showed you guys on the road but outside the window hawaii for some reason has roosters and chickens everywhere, everywhere. Like it's crazy, they're just wild chickens running around and roosters like to crow at 3.30 in the morning and they're right outside your window because they're everywhere. And your windows are not soundproof because they're just like flaps that like open and close. And so you can just hear that rooster and they just crow at four o'clock in the morning every morning. So every day, like me and my mom are like late sleepers, like 10 o'clock is when we normally wake up because we go to bed super late, like three o'clock in the morning. This whole time, I think the latest we went to bed was like 11 because we just were so exhausted because the roosters kept waking us up so early. So we woke up every morning by like 6 a.m. We were awake and like out of the house by eight. So I mean, it was good. It was good because, you know, even my dad, my dad is like a super sleeper, but even my dad was up early because the roosters were just crowing. <laughs> And he does not want to stay. And then they had days. some puppies that were in a kennel oh, right outside of it. our window. So then the puppies were like, ah, like crying the whole day. So, I mean, it was cool, but I think we're going to stay like in North Shore. I think North Shore is our favorite out of the whole trip because it's like super like laid back. It's really, really nice. It's not it's like, more yeah, it's more vibe. of like a Hawaiian vibe. There's, you know, not jungles touristy. around. It's not touristy. Like I did not like Honolulu and Waikiki. I'm not a fan. Too many, people. Too many people. It's really like run down because it's old. But yeah, not a fan of that. I think definitely next time we will stay in North Shore and do like an Airbnb over there. So we will catch you guys later because I want to finish eating my ahi and I will catch you guys at the airport. Bye. Say goodbye to Hawaii. We're heading on the plane now. Look how moist my face is. It's gross here. I don't like it. <laughs> what? We're leaving. It's so sad. It is so sad. We're getting on the plane now. Look at your dad. He looks like perfect. He looks like a tourist. <laughs> Where is he? He's right there. <laughs> he waves. <laughs> Dan's wearing his North Shore shirt. That was our favorite place was North Shore. North Shore, baby. <laughs> what? Don't rush me. He's gonna roll right up to the jetway, he says. Yeah, I don't think so. We got a cart. Some guy gave us a cart. Who's drink? That's Wonderful. Amanda's. That's my drink. Calm down. Get it out. You're gonna roll right up to the railway. You're gonna roll it right onto the trash. Dad? <laughs> what are you doing? He's a weirdo, and I'm gonna leave that in the vlog.
All right, we're getting on the plane now. Bye, guys. Bye, you guys. So this is gonna be. Can they even hear you? It's really loud in here. They can hear me. This is gonna be the end of the vlog. We're on the airplane now. We're driving back. Look how sweaty. Where's my 